Today on The Grid, it's Blind Photo Critique Day, where our goal is to bring 20 lucky viewers to tears. Joining me here on the set is my co-host. He's a Justin Bieber fan. He wants to go to Japan. He drives a sedan. He likes cheese from a can. He's got a long lifespan. He loves Jackie Chan. He's been to Spokane. He likes his pies, pecan. He rocks out to Duran Duran. It's the real rocket man, Eric Kuna. We've got some sweet, slippery giveaways today, and it all starts in just 21.4 seconds. The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should, too. Go to platypod.com. <laughs> he, he likes his pies pecan. All right. Welcome, everybody. It's another live episode of The Grid. It's Blind Photo Critiques Day, as I just mentioned. Uh, joining me is the real rocket man, Mr. Eric Kuna. Yes, and I love, yeah, I do like pecan pie. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. This is it's good. great. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah how's pecan. it going, Scott? You know, Village Inn, that's where to get it. To yeah, the Village Inn is Get good. a French silk while you're there. Yeah. Anyway. French silk. Ooh. Ooh, the French silk. Ooh, 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 Joey. Anyway, it's a great day on the grid. Uh, we have asked people to send in a bunch of images, and we're going to critique them uh, quickly. We're going to do it quickly. Eric's going to be timing them so we don't spend 10 minutes on a photo like we are wont to do. Uh, got a bunch of little news here. Uh, first off, yesterday in my feed, in one of my many social media feeds, I'm right. glad I don't know if it's Twitter or Facebook or whatever, um, I saw Adobe promoting an artist from Behance. So Adobe owns right, Behance. Right, right. And I wanted to just show you some of his shots because they're wonderful. He basically, he's, he's showing like an isolated person in a city scene, mm -hmm. right? And I think his stuff is really great. But uh, one of the things that I think is so great is his use of light and color. Oh yeah, and yeah. And shadows. sometimes it's the lack of color but look at this is great stuff. You know, guys, when we're doing these critiques and, and people show us street photography like this, and but it's not like this. It's just like, that's a guy sitting there in a chair. It's like- It's that word we use that gets offensive to people, snapshot. Yeah. <laughs> it's, this is not. Like this that guy walking not. across the street with the colors and everything that's happening there and the cars behind him. These are like, Look at yeah, this. The light, Look at that. The gesture. It's like, like, yeah, it's got light. It's got gesture. It's got, it's got color. color. It has all those things that we yeah. talk about. The, like Jay Maisel's book, like gesture yeah, and this color. This is the trifecta. Yeah, this is it. And so, and this is why Adobe is promoting their work. Like, it was just take a look at this artist on Behance. Wow. And I, I went and looked, and I'm like, oh, this guy is so good. I'm going to give them some props. It's what would you say that is joking? Oh, let's see. Yeah, all of the photos were taken joking. in uh, Zaragoza, Spain. Right. And uh, Joaquin? Yeah. It's and a Sublime all Street photographs series. photographs have not been posed. Yeah, so he's basically saying, I am, I am taking street photography right. in the moment, but I'm looking for that gesture as well as the light and the yes. color. And none and of these the have been posed. And that's the thing with street photography that is hard. Yes, is, yes. Uh, if you go back yes. to like those pictures, yes. like... Even when he's walking across the street there, or even there, like the the moment when the leg is up and there's that there's that little bit of gap yes. with their leg, yes, like all that, that matters. is matters. Like if you scroll down to that one where they're crossing the street, like they're in stride. Like that picture yeah. would not be the same if they weren't in stride. Yeah, no, dude, it's like th these that are is wonderful. So important. Th these are just, I mean, they're graphically great. The color, the lights, all those things. Anyway, it's just, it's just I just wanted to show, share his work yeah, because I thought it was particularly great. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's great photos, but then to know that that is street photography. And right. I think okay. what really takes it yes. up a notch. Yes. So when you're thinking of that, just, oh, here's a person looking at their phone. That's not good street photography. That's just, yeah. this is, this is the stuff that gets companies like Adobe to go to their multi-million account. And just go look at this, look wow. at this person's stuff. Yeah. It's Every just, one of these photos, you're like, wow. Yeah. I mean, so, so you good. You haven't hit one yet that doesn't look like it shouldn't be in there. Yeah. Nope. Nope. And it's all looks like the same photographer. Mm -hmm. Like he's got a style that comes through in, in everything. So anyway, just wanted to share that wow. with you. A couple more real Neat. quick things. Um, so last week I did a podcast 
uh, with the Behind the Shot podcast from Steve Brazel. Uh, Steve has uh-huh. is, is got a highly acclaimed podcast. He, he gets uh, all kinds of photographers uh, to go on his show because everybody loves Steve. And, oh, yeah. and it, it's a great podcast. And uh, it's a long one. It's one you put on in the car because it goes about an hour. But I got such a nice note yesterday. Cheeky Nando um, sent oh, yeah. me a very, very nice note. And he posted about it in the in the comments. But uh, we talk about a particular photo. And Chico, Cheeky Nando was there. Like, I would never have the shot oh, without yeah. Cheeky. I got a whole story behind, behind how cool. I got it. And, you know, I mentioned like a buddy and I. And the buddy was, was Cheeky Nando. And okay. so, uh, anyway, it's, it's, it's a, a great podcast. So anyway, it is a great podcast. You can go find about it. If you go to my blog at scottkelby.com a couple of days ago, I put it on, on all my blogs on lightroomkillertips.com and on scottkelby.com right at the top. I have programming alert and I actually embedded the, the podcast right there. You can go watch it there. All right. What else we got? Uh, you guys, rem- you remember I, um, I did a TV show where I competed against another photographer. It's out there now. Uh, it's called The Great Create. So if you search for my name, Scott Kelby, and The Great Create, you'll find the episode. It's online, and uh, you can see whether, you know, how I did against the other photographer, the young, good-looking, cool guy, and then old me. Uh, anyway, it was uh, an interesting uh, thing to do, and it was challenging. And uh, anyway, it's online. It, you can watch it. It's only about 15, 16 minutes. There's no commercials mm-hmm. or anything. So you can watch that. Uh, a couple other real quick things what were my in my notes here oh yes yesterday this is if you want something that'll put a promise to put a smile on your face go to my facebook you're probably on my facebook page but maybe you're not maybe you're watching this someplace else but on my facebook page scroll down and you will see the oj's singing live on good morning america about two years ago and they're doing love train which is an awesome you know people Uh all over the world join hands anyway they sound great uh-huh. But it was they were doing like a '70s flash throwback on the show, and the, and everybody in the audience was dancing. The whole place is dancing. They're all dressed like the '70s, and they all they do a Soul Train line, That's the whole cool. nine yard. There it is, right there. Don't play it, because then we'll get a, like some kind of a copyright weirdness of you know. But anyway, it's terrific. And and what I love about it is there is such a sense of joy in this video. Like you watch this video and you start to think, let's get everybody together and just sing and dance and we'll all get along. It's just really, That's cool. it's a wonderful video. If you get a chance, you're right there, scroll down and watch that. Uh, what else did I want to mention? Hey, so I, I sold a guitar today. I, I've got too many guitars. <laughs> I've actually got too many, it's terrible. I've got too many guitars. I've, I'm, I've sold some and I sold, I put it on reverb.com. It was sold in four minutes. Four minutes, wow. and I almost got the price they, they, that's been sold for new, but it's it's discontinued guitar. So it's, it's a powder blue Tim Mahoney uh, SE. Literally four minutes shipping it out today. Wow. All right, what else? Oh, best TikTok video of the year, Eric. I don't know if you saw this. I posted it on mm-hmm. Twitter. No, I haven't. Seen I got to show you this because this person took one of my passions and took it to another level. Let me show it to you real quick. I, I just give me one second to grab it here. I have it saved on a, in a window over here. Give me a second. Where's the tick in the talk? Oh, crud. Talk on it. Ah, I'll have to find it on the break. I thought I had it saved. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. No. So well, while you're doing that, I got I got something because uh, you know you're, we're talking about passions here, right? So Go. this weekend. I got to kind of, I got a chance to really meld two of my passions, right? So rocket photography and pizza and Milky Way photography. Oh yeah, right? sure that too. So that too. Um, so I actually got to. Uh, there was a, a launch going off this weekend where the Milky Way was rising over the launch pad, uh, but we also had great conditions in Florida. Usually we've got the humidity and all those problems. Um, and this was the, the streak shot that, we, uh, that I ended up coming up with. So uh, sh- the rocket streaking over the Milky Way um, and then um, did some different things like that's the rocket up in the, the um, second stage up in the atmosphere and then even did some uh, different streaks. So this was blending in the same exposure. So this is a single exposure of the rocket and then you see the the actual condensation trail from the rocket and the Milky Way all in one frame. So that was really cool to kind of like meld these two things together. Um, 
and be able to really do that. And then I even took a lens ball out. I actually dusted off a lens ball and um, did the uh, reflection of the Milky Way. Yeah. Now in you the said you sent me that picture, and you were like not too jazzed on it. I thought it came out really nice. Oh no, it was great. And then this is uh, another streak. Uh, that's more with the star trails, but. Um, it was just really fun, fun to, fun to shoot and fun to actually get to combine those things. And that was the, that's the Milky Way without the rocket. This was actually before the launch where I took a tracker and did a single exposure uh, track shot. But that's crazy that that, that is Florida. That's in uh, yeah, pretty that's good light pollution. That's pretty good light pollution right there. That's good. Um, so very cool. And then... Um, Here's a couple things. I, well, I have to actually go into library mode, but um, then did some time lapses of the rocket taken off into the lens ball. And then this is the uh, rocket actually taken off. There's a time lapse of the rocket taken off. So cool stuff. Cool, coolio. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Hard to believe that you can get that Milky Way like that in Florida. Yeah. That's All right. Crazy. I'm about to show you a video that's going to blow your mind. For some of you, it's going to change everything. You'll never be the same after I watch this video. Now I took the audio out because I don't want to uh, get a copyright strike, but because they play the song, I want to rock, rock, you know, the one. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, so we're, we're, we're imagining I want right. to rock. So playing. you've got spray cheese here and, and they've, they've just taken the, the Ritz cracker and pushed it down over the top. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you sitting down yeah, for this one? Yeah. Watch. Come on. <laughs> Are you about to have the most perfect Ritz you've ever had? Look at that. Who Seriously. Knew? Who knew? Right there. Right there. All right. And that is Jordan Jester, J-E-S-T-E-R on TikTok. If you want to see it again, because I know you do. I know you do. I'll be trying this tonight. My oh, sister-in-law sent goodness. this to me and I'm like, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. All right. Wow. That's good enough. Okay. What else? Is there wow. anything else before we jump into this this show here? We did that. We did that. Oh, we, next week. I don't know if we can go week. up from there. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if we can go up from there. Next week. Next. Listen to me. Next week is the outdoor photography conference with I am not kidding. Probably the greatest group of instructors we've ever assembled. It's incredible. Oh, it's great. One of the best. Certainly one of the best. And it's going to be tremendous. It's next week. I'm teaching a couple of classes. Uh, Eric's teaching some. But we, we, we've got some just incredible instructors from all over. You're yeah, I mean, if you're it. into anything outdoors, like, you know, it's uh, all from uh, landscape and travel to macro to all that stuff. Uh, night photography to underwater photography. Yeah. Um, everything, wildlife photography, anything in that outdoor realm, uh, it's going to cover all those subjects. So... Yeah, Very it's cool. going to be great, and it's uh, so plants, inexpensive flowers, to go. And that. you, big thing, you get the entire conference archived for a year. So even if you can't make it next week, you can still get the conference and just watch it at your leisure, stream it whenever you want. All the classes, including the day before's pre-conference, you get it all. And then if you do go to the conference live, you still get it, you know, uh, archive for a year so that's coming next week go to kelby one live.com click on wildlife conference and you're there so kelby one live.com that's where you want to go all right what else one last thing this was this may surprise some of you but i wrote a book about jesus <laughs> yes i did not last week i did it a while back uh amazon's down to just two copies left Go get it. Now, we are, we're shipping some more copies that they will get there shortly. But if you want to grab one of those two, grab one of those two, and that will be awesome. And all of the profits from that book go strictly to Eric Kuna to pay for it. No, they go to the Springs of Hope Orphanage. Look at that. There's only two, two left in stock. Goes to the Springs of Hope Orphanage in Nukuru, Kenya. So you get a cool book that is probably, you're probably going to give it to somebody else, right? Because it's kind of, it's a book for... Um, for, for uh, people who are kind of interested, look on the outside looking in, you know? So uh, it's, it's more something like a Christian buys for a buddy. Like here, yeah. you should read this because you're, you're, you need this book. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like your iPhone book where you'd buy that sometimes for people who are interested in yes. uh, shooting with the iPhone but just don't know how to really unlock it. 
You mean this book right yeah, here, that Eric? Book. It's like my iPhone book. You, that book. You buy it for somebody else, crazy. right? You buy it for yeah. a friend. You're like, you should, you should get this book. I have more, I have more rate, I have more ratings on my Jesus book than I do on my iPhone book. But anyway, my iPhone book is is awesome, and uh, you can get it right now in print or in uh, Kindle. Oh, on the Jesus book, of course, you can get the Kindle version anytime. Yeah. It never goes out of print, which is awesome about that. All right. Uh, what else do we do? That's it. That's all of my stuff. Can we look at some images real quick? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get rolling and uh, let's go. All right, uh, hold on. Don't look on my screen yet because I'm I did this in a very poor fashion. I need to go to this folder. Hold on. Oh man, I messed this up. Oh, this is the wrong folder. <laughs> okay. I was thinking, why does this look so weird? Give me one second. Don't move, don't breathe, don't make a sound, because I've got this down. All right, so here we go. Here's our first one. So we asked folks to send in three, uh, three images of their best images. I also included in my calls an, an email on what to expect from a blind critique, mm -hmm. which is the truth. We're going to tell you straight up how it is. And we, and, know, we won't know what you are, who you are. Yeah, we don't know who you are. We don't know your, your name or the photographer's name or anything. That's why they're called blind critiques. So yes. we're just going to give it to you straight. And uh, some people don't like that. But I, So that's why I said, if, you, if you're not sure if you're ready for a blind critique, read this link. And I wrote about it. Okay, here we go. So we have three shots that somebody sent in. And I think these are all terrific. Yeah. They, uh, especially, they, this is definitely my favorite. Uh -huh. This has a particular style, but but I, I think you're very very close. Yeah, doesn't it? It needs a little bit more sculpting of the light, like yeah, you it, know, like bringing the light up to the face. It's there. just very very soft, yes. and it's nice. Like, yeah, but I also I think Even. a little post. But but this is the, I love the direction this photographer's going in, and yeah, it just needs that finishing move. Yeah. So what it is is you're like you're at a stage where you could go to the next level really easily. You're not way far away. You're like almost there. Um, I would look at the post and, and it almost looks like you're inspired by, I, I want to say what her name is. It's Z Zhang. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm going to break. I'll find you her name, but she does this kind of style and she is marvelous at it and it seems like you're inspired by her so maybe yeah, you're you're kind of doing that same thing uh certainly this shot looks inspired by her but her post processing is sick right and uh and and yours is good it, and, and you know what you're, you're not overdoing it but i think there's some things that you could add that would really you know make it pop yeah i think just working a little more on the lighting uh you know what it is I think the lighting might might be not directional enough. Yeah, it's, it's just a little kinda, flat. Little yeah, flat. it's a little. It's not terrible, and I don't want to over. I don't want to. I don't want you to feel bad after this because I'm I'm yeah. really excited for where you're going. So I don't want you to think that. And this is. I think this is spot on. This one is spot on. Uh, you could throw a little yeah. more light so you bring out the the eye shadow a little bit more. But I think that's that's. This is technically the best of the three, but I like this one. I like where you're going with this one. Right. This is technically, you know, you kind of did like butterfly lighting. Looks like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, well, you uh, can see there in the reflection. One light too. in front and then a reflector down below. And then the light is very, you know, it's like it's very clamshelly, but I like it. I yep. just and I like the colors. I like your toning. I like where you're going with all this. Mm -hmm. Are you timing these? I've got an internal timer. <laughs> it's got an internal. Anyway, good job. I think we're off it's to a great. good start. It's great. So don't please don't take yeah. anything bad there. It just right? needs that needs that little bit of pop or that directional light. Yeah, a little bit. All more. All right, this one I'm going to have to make them bigger. They sent very small images. That does not help, by the way. All right, so here's our first shot. Our second shot. Man, these are all over the place. These it are is. three different guitars. These look three like three different di completely different guitars. Let's start here. So this one is your your light from your flash is just straight up too bright. It's it's too bright, and I don't think it's quite soft enough, especially for the rest of the light. And I don't think it's warm enough. So here's what you yeah, got to do to fix this one. It has a flashy kind of cool, flashy look. Yeah, it's got a very flashy, cool. Exactly. <laughs> That's thank, it. Thank you, Eric. It's a cool, flashy look. So you need to, number one, you need to make your light softer. 
So I would use a bigger softbox or something or get the light much closer to your subject because I'm looking at the shadows on her face. Mm -hmm. they're, they're too hard for that late in the day. That's number one. Number two, you got to warm it up. You might be able to just go in here with the adjustment brush and actually paint some warmth yeah. on her. Yeah, it's not far enough off that you wouldn't be able to recover it. Yeah, all right. So this this will just warm her up to where it actually looks like she's in these lighting conditions. Yep, there you go. All right, that's just what I did was I went over here to the white balance and just moved it to the right a little bit so she's, you know, in a, in a better spot. Uh, but I think the overall thing is just too bright. Like the whole image just looks too bright for late in the day. So bring it down a bit. Yeah, I think that that will help. help. In fact, I would probably get the radial tool right here. Uh, darken the exposure and let's just kind of get some light on her and you don't really need all this other light. I, I kind of messed that up a bit, but like it should be kind of late in the day with a little bit of, but the, I, I, can't, I can't make the light very much more subtle, which is something you need to do, make it softer and more subtle. But when you're going in. But in already good, right there, that's taking it. Yeah, so let's take it a. It doesn't see if we look can, as uh, that cool kind of flash look. And then it's got that warmness and yeah. it's sculpted. The light's So you can sculpted. see what just 30 seconds of post will do. You know, her skin doesn't look clammy. Yeah. And stuff, but I, but I kind of like where you're trying to go and you did a good job with the background and stuff like that. So, you know, all right. Uh, getting lower will also help. Getting lower mm -hmm. would help with your horizon lines and stuff. Okay. This shot's just, it, it's very nice. I don't need a before and after because we didn't do any after. Uh, <laughs> there you go. This is just very nice. Yeah. Uh, it might be a tad uh, too shadowy. Like the shadows are opened up too much. You might want to just kind of, I'm trying to Add see if I can. Contrast. Oh, it's still... Uh, Still got a split screen going on there. There we go. Add some contrast. But that's yeah. very nice. The yeah, only no, thing I would say. You want to be there. The only thing I would say is your horizon line is dead in the middle. Yeah, and so, I think they're going for that reflection. Yeah, I know that reflection yeah. was a big part. Well, this is nicely done. Now, this is actually really nicely done if there were just less people. Yeah, well, that'd be it would like be, that first one we showed. If there was yeah. that one. If, if that it was just this guy bike or just, or the, just kid, the guy, yeah. One of those two, I think you'd have a winner. This just looks like tourists. So it's, yeah. But overall, I mean, this is obviously a, a good photographer. They know what they're yeah, doing. Definitely know the All camera right. settings. So I would say you need a little work on your flash stuff, but no, it's nothing hard. It's not like you need to it's relearn very everything. Close. It's, it's very close. You're very I mean, close. You, I mean, all you all you would do is probably add a, add a little bit of a warming oh, gel. Gel. I would add an orange gel. You would add a warming gel and you'd tone it down a little bit. That. That's how you would get the, the warmer. You yeah. Know. Boom. And you'd be done. I mean, and you're boom, you're that close. Done. Can I answer that a question close. that people already always yeah. say? Couldn't you just change the white balance to yellow? You need to change the color. You don't need to change the color of the scene. You already need to be on a, on a warm. Yes. You already need to be on cloudy or something. But you need to change the color of the light. Because you can change the color of the scene and make it yellow, and you hit it with a white light, it's going to look white. Yeah, because that, piece of that light gel. coming out is blue. It's sunlight. Orange gel. It has a bluish tone to it already. So Coming up next, we got some shout outs. We got more images. Eric's going to use his internal clock and we'll be right oh, back. Oh, yes. Don't go away.
over 20 years, leading software developer Boris FX has made its mark on the film and television industry. Now, for the first time, our Academy and Emmy award-winning visual effects tools are available for photographers. Welcome to Optics. Optics is a collection of 160 filters for Photoshop and Lightroom. Simply apply the effect and launch the interface. Optics features thousands of customizable and creative presets for photo editing and effects layering. The top tools include lens flares for cinematic looks, realistic night skies with star fields and moon generator, add lightning with on-screen interactive control. The Easy Mask tool creates masks with just a few clicks. Optics is available now as a plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom and includes the standalone application for Mac OS and Windows. Get Optics now for 15% off. Visit borisfex.com, add Optics to your cart, and apply coupon code KELBY15. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by b &H Photo, the professional source since 1973. Zero. Hey, we're back. Scott's here with Eric. He's here. Uh, we got some real quick shout outs. Let's hit some shout outs, Mr. Tim. Yeah, so we got uh, Judah saying hello. We got, uh, uh, I, I think that's Mike. I think it's Lisky, Mike, yeah. Lisky uh, saying hello. Lenworth Johnson saying hello. We're going to be uh, seeing Lenworth soon, so yeah, we are. excited for that. Uh, Mike A saying hi from Madison, Wisconsin. Hey. Keith saying hi from Long Island. Deb from California. Uh, frankly, I'm frankly me uh, from Germany, and then uh, Jeff from Napa saying hello from Napa. Uh, we got Dave from the UK saying hi. Uh, Kirsty, I think uh, Hepworth Kirstie. from the um, UK saying hi. Barbie from uh, Mississippi. Karen uh, saying happy Hup Day. Uh, Sherry from Ohio. Bader from all the way in Saudi Arabia uh, saying hi. JP Sylvan saying hi from Montreal. Carolyn saying hi from Montreal as well. Uh, Scott from Pittsburgh, Daniel from Germany. Uh, we got Victoria saying hi uh, in, the, in the chat. So there we go. We got everybody all, all, and then all around the world. Hello to everyone from Finland. All right. Oh, and then hello everyone from Finland. All right. Well, glad to have you all here today with us. Hey, I, I was able to find the website of the woman I was talking about, the fashion photographer, J Jingna Zhang. I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing it right, but I've been a fan of hers for years and her stuff is great. Let me get to the, the shots that I'm thinking of because I said yours were kind of like, like maybe inspired by her. I don't know if they were, but they, they should be. And let's just, let's hope a nude doesn't show up or something and freak everybody out. Uh, uh, hang on, I'm getting, I'm getting there. Yeah, that's great stuff though. Oh, Holy her stuff moly. is ridiculous. Yeah, her stuff is incredible. But I, I want to get, there's a particular... When I fell in love with her, it was uh, on a crazy weekend. No, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was, I want to show you the shots. Where are they? Well, they're all good so far. <laughs> oh gosh, she's, no, she's amazing. We're getting close. It's these. We're starting right here, this series. And I want to show you the exact picture that I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't really need to hear about the intelligent, generous news here. Thank you. <laughs> like this is also from that issue. Yep. But I'm trying, there's a very particular picture. Look at these, these are wonderful. See with the rose and that kind of outfit. Mm -hmm. So that, that does re remind me of yeah, that. Yeah, I can see that. That kind of. But again, the post is what really oh, kind of yeah. finished. Well, that and the, the lighting's a little bit like sculpted more like you were talking about. Yeah. Um, and the post, you know, I but can't, it, I but can't it's the thing the of picture. the base. The the basics are there. The the basis is there. It's um, now taking it to the next level. I can't believe I've dug this far. I can't find it. Anyway, her stuff is wonderful. She's, she's there. You go. There's videos that she's got behind the scenes videos and stuff on the web that are fantastic. Oh yeah. Before we before we continue on, uh, we are giving away some prizes today. So uh, yes. we've got some prizes. Um, My book. Uh, we've got the uh, book. Yeah, the iPhone book we talked about earlier. Uh, we're giving away a Platypod Ultra as well. But chica. And then we're also giving away a copy of Boris FX Optics, which is an awesome plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, just tell us in the comments uh, what you'd like to win. Uh, leave us a comment. You're automatically entered. Um, and there you go. All right. Let's look at some pictures, Mr. K. Yeah. And I'll start, start the internal start clock. Start your internal clock. Here we go. Here we go. Three images. One. Ooh. Two. 
three. And as Meatloaf would say, two out of three ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> so is it, it's going to be the first one, the last one, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. This is the very first one, and the last done. one look like the same photographer, yep. and then the middle one's like, whoa. Like, where did this come from? Like, and actually, the middle one is not bad. It's not bad. It's just not even on the par with the other it's, ones. It's just not on the planet with the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. That, it's, that by itself, you'd be like, eh, it's a good photo. I mean, there's things like the boats running into the dock, yeah, and there's not really like a, what messy. is the foreground, and, and it's a lot, like, a lot going on. Like, at the dock? But then you go the to like boat. that first one, and you have this simplicity of the reflection yes, of the it's thing. it's so nice. I mean, it's like, boom, and the lighting. And you're wondering why that's in the lake in the first place. Yeah, and this one, I mean, just technically very nicely carried oh, out, yeah. by the way, star trails and stuff. I mean, that's a great star trail shot. That's I'm a long one, right? Really, How long does uh, it take to make a star trail like that, Mr. K? Uh, a while, at least a, at least a good hour, probably. Yeah, I was thinking about an hour, yeah. as I'm such an expert on that. Anyway, yeah. very nice shots. Uh, beautiful. I love that. Love Me. that first one. And, I love and, the Star Trail, too. Yeah. The yeah. middle one, just it's out of it's place. Just, it's out of place. It's like a different photographer took that one. It's not bad on its own, but when, now that I see your yeah, other it's, stuff, it's, I'm like, yeah, no. It's not bad, but it's yeah. not... Yeah, so All right. the other two are great. Okay, more of those other two. Yeah. All right, let's move it on. Love that simplicity. Here we go. Three shots. One, two, three. We have one out of three. One out of three, bad. bad. All right, so what, part of the so this one you've technically done pretty much everything right. Yeah, uh, that's the one that the that's the one out of three, right? Right, this or is the one out of three. That. That's the uh, one out of three. You you shot it at the right time of day. Yes. You got the horizon line in a good place. You got a foreground. You got a foreground. You got clouds. It's it's, it's not a stellar shot, but you, you did everything right. Hey, given the location, I like it. You yeah, know, I like it's it. A, it. Beaches are hard. They're flat. They're yeah. there's not no, much you, to them. You did good. What happened here? This is kind of a mess. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This well, is just a mess. It's just kind of like it's, it's like a mess. Falling over. And yeah, it's, it's, it's tilted to the and left. There's like this strip of the road, right. which so is like there for no reason. Here's the, here's where this thing falls apart. What am I supposed to look at? Am I looking at the statue? Am I looking at the cannon? Maybe the cannon. Am I looking at the tree? Am I looking at the big Maybe monument? It's a monument in the back. Maybe like, it's the sliver of the road. I, I don't even know side. what to look at. Now, you could make a great picture of a close-up of the cannons. You could make a great picture. It's just, there's, if it's not clear what I'm supposed to look at immediately, and if it is the cannons, man, that's a boring subject. I, it's definitely uh, exposed okay. Yeah, this and isn't a, I bet the f-stop they use is, is okay. This is a vision and composition problem. This is yeah. not a, I don't know how to yep. use my camera problem. And that's what uh, I see in all three. It's not the, right. this is this not a camera is, problem. This one is, I still need to work on how to use my camera. So this one, you, you've frozen yeah. the water, which is kind of the the death knell for waterfall shots. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, there's not enough motion, right? There's not enough right. motion in the yeah, water. Yeah, you've frozen the water, which is, that's kind of the, I used to do a thing called the seven deadly sins of landscape photography, and the very first one was freezing water. Uh, also, your, your white balance is pretty harsh. You need to get rid of that blue, bluish, it was overly blue. This is all bad it, because- Yeah, I mean, it was so blue, it almost looked like it was winter to me. Yeah, it did look like winter. And here's the other thing. It's, it's just so messy. It's just a very, it, it, people think you just walk up to a pretty waterfall and shoot it. And I'm sure standing there, it was very pretty. But to make it look good in a picture, you've got to simplify this thing big time. Uh, you got a, a nothing sky. There's no sky. The water's not, this is just a scratch yeah, shot, the, the, just the, scratch the, it. The, yeah, there's like, there's not a foreground to like anchor it. Yeah. Or there's not a like, it's, it's there's just, just nothing, snuck. no elements to the waterfall right now that yeah. are really standing out. So these two need a tremendous amount of work. However, you nailed this one. So we have great yes. hope for you. Yes. Right? But just remember that. the camera settings that are not the problem except for you, you got when you are, light. don't freeze water, don't yeah. freeze waterfalls. Don't freeze waterfalls. You got good light and then you, you and this one actually, the light's not bad. You could have waited a little later but i don't know where to look and i don't have a clear subject and that's kind of 
one of the other seven mm-hmm. deadly sins. In, in my thing called the seven deadly sins, that was one of the things I talked about was not having a very clear subject. If you have to explain to somebody what they're supposed to look like, the photos of failure. And yeah. in this one, you've got technical issues and it's just messy. And if you don't, if it's because you don't have, you might have needed an ND, right? You know, because you might need to like rest in the light. Or you should have shot at F-22 to or get some movement. Shot it, or F-32. take a sequence of shots and stack it and make the water so Or use your iPhone, it'll do it for and, you. Uh, well, then that's how your iPhone does it it takes a sequence of shocks and then just stacks it boom all right so we got a little bit of work to do not you're not out of the game but those last two are i need some work but i know that you can do it because i saw the first shot all right here we go Well, one out of three ain't (laughs) bad the first shot is very nicely done for a whole bunch of reasons. Mm-hmm. You got a good pose. It's like the iguana. It's an iguana, right? Yes, I'm pretty like sure. The, like the iguana. It's a Komodo dragon. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's an iguana, I'm pretty sure. We're yes. going with iguana. It's got great light on it. I, the light's great. It's got a great background. You, you didn't, uh, you went for the whole tail there and yes. didn't cut off the tail because of right. that. It was, that's a hard thing, you know. And it's an, inter- um, it's an interesting shot and it's well composed and the background's good and the lighting's good. It's, it's, it's well done. And then, wow, why, did it, why is it doing that? Oh, I hate the oh. bridge. All right. Then there's this. Uh, Eric? It's, it's a moment at the zoo. It's a moment. It looks so zooey, though. Yes, it's a moment so at the part zoo. Part of the art of zoo photography is to not make it look like it was in a zoo. Like, that's the challenge. Yes, and then it's going to say, well, but they didn't. And that's where you got to wait around and, like, put them. You got to wait until they're in a spot that doesn't yes. look like they're up in right. a, ma- now, a, a. The first a shot may have been taken. Man made treehouse. The, the, the iguana shot may have been taken in a zoo, but you can't tell. Yeah, you can't tell. This one looks definitely like you went to the zoo and then there's a couple of. of uh, Primates, primates, a couple yeah. of primates. Yeah, Eric's like, I'm a yeah. rocket guy. Yeah, so it's an ant, it's, it's yeah, definitely. And they're a, just kind of hanging maybe out. Maybe a chimp or an orangutan. There's not chimp. chimps, orangutan, primate, something. It's a primate, and this is is. It's kind of interesting. And I mean, mess, this one mess. isn't. This is one that isn't bad. The, the middle one, one, the middle one's the, the out of place out. one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, this one actually is is it's not bad. It's, I think you can save this one with some clever healing brush and clone tool stuff. Yeah, take out some of that uh, crap that's distracting in the front. Yeah, yeah. Like I would remove this. I would get rid of this one coming right across there, and yeah. some of these sticks. Yes, and then and you'd then have a nice image. It, well, that would actually, open up the image to where you you're not distracted. I would also. Drop in a little bit of a vignette so to put the, the yeah, focus back right on the there. inside. All right. And then I think I would go in with a brush and kind of brighten these other birds over here mm-hmm. to kind of get close to the brightness of the other bird. Or you're going to have to take the other bird down. All right. So let's get the, the, the light balanced. Something like that. And then the rest is straight up. See if I can get over to Photoshop here. Yeah. It's it's literally going in here with a healing brush. And let's see if we can get rid of this. Well, that wasn't a beautiful removal, was it? No. Sometimes it works beautiful. Well, yeah. That wasn't one of those cases. But you could, you know, you could work this. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of uh, Spend some time and work that out. Yeah, and you might have to clone. You might have to use the clone stamp yep. tool, which will stop all that stuff. And that's probably what you wind up doing. Yeah, but it would be worth it because this, this could be a that. really good shot. And then once you get rid of all the, yeah, you're going to get rid of it this way. But yeah, that's one where you're not sure where you took that. Right. I mean, it could be at a zoo. And it then, could be out in nature. Then you go um, in here and get got, rid of these ugly sticks. Come on. It's got decent. I mean, it's... That's the yeah. one with the potential. Yep. The middle one's the throwaway, and the yeah, first the middle one's, one's the good just light. Just toss it. These, I'm telling you, half an hour, and you got a great shot. Yeah. And you got to get rid of all this. And all you're, all Scott's doing there is just simplifying the frame. Yeah, He's that's taking it. out the distracting the things yep. and doing that. All right, let's move on. 
Let's move on. What do we got? So, technically, they're all good. Yeah. Exposures are good and all. They're just one of those where it's like, it's, there's not really anything that's wow about them. Yeah. It's, so, so here's what I would ask you. And I don't mean to sound mean when I say this. Would someone looking at these shots describe you to another photo another person as like, oh man, he's a lights out photographer. You would, you just be like, yeah, he's got a, Bill's got a nice camera. Or I'm just making up a name. I don't know who's yeah. this. But yeah, yeah, Cindy, she's yeah. got a nice camera. She takes some good shots. Don't you love that too when people come up to you? Oh, yeah, with your say, camera? Yeah. No, but I'm just oh, saying. You, must, you got a nice camera. You want to take shots where people go, <laughs> oh, have you seen what Bob got at the beach the other day? Oh, my gosh, his stuff is amazing. Yeah. That's what you're going for. And you're not going to get that from shooting some rocks and, uh, and, and some bubbles. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, it's, it's rocks and bubbles. I mean, it's, it's in focus. It's technically, it's in focus. It yeah. is exposed. And it's, that is the sun intersecting with uh, yeah. an object causing a uh, lens flare. Uh, same thing here. Overly same backlit. Thing. And, that, and then um, got a little bit, um, little bit heavy on the processing uh, to open yeah. it up. It, they're just, they're all okay. They're not... You know how to use your camera. This is nothing to do with your camera ability. This is to do with your vision and, and picking subjects that make people go, ooh. If you want people to say, ooh, about your photography, you got to shoot some more ooh thing. The rocks, yeah. aiming down at some rocks and just say, you're Or aiming up at, the, up at the lighthouse there and too, how elongated it is. It yeah, just- you're, it, And you're also showing everybody the exact view that you would see from a lighthouse. Yeah, yeah, Standing there. Yeah. Yep, yep, that's a lighthouse. Got it. Yeah. They're all just kind of... I don't want you to take mass shots. I want you to yeah. take shots where your neighbors are like, oh, did you see what's... Oh, Cindy, Cindy's taking these shots at the beach. I, can, I don't know how she even got them. Like, they're amazing. That's what we're looking for. Not... Yeah, some rocks. I, I, think, I think something that middle shot could have been something. It could have been. I mean, it's it's technically. I mean, the horizon line's in a good place. I mean, place. it's a beautiful light, and you got the cat. It, yeah, you I probably like, could have, in that location, found some interesting foreground elements yeah, with those rocks. Yeah. That could have made something leading towards that sunset and the other yeah. rocks. But let me ask you this: Are there forty-four point six million sunsets that look this like this right. on Instagram? Very much so. Yeah. So it's just kind of. It's like if you were there that day and. Now, if you'd have shot at F-22, you had a star right there. Look at the star hey, right. good on, on you, the... though, for, I mean, you're shooting at least there at the right time of day. <laughs> at uh, least. Yeah. So yeah. We, we got a little it's work good. to do there. It has potential. Has potential. All right, here's three shots. One. Mm. Two. Mm -hmm. Three. All right. Three out of three ain't bad. This is yeah, a good great. photographer. Come on. First the, off, the last one shocked me in that it was so different than the other two, but they're yeah. still great, all great this photos. This is a great portrait, lit in an interesting way. She's got a great oh, yeah. expression. This is just all good. I don't know how much bad you can say about that. Yeah, I got nothing bad to say. Awesome. Or anything, to, not even Wait. bad, but just improvement. Wait. Um, maybe no, cleaning some stuff up. I don't know. Nah, it looks good. It's not bad. This is really good. You've got wheel spin. The only thing I would say is get it even tighter. If you're going to go that tight, like don't leave so much of this. Like just and, pull up, uh, uh, pull down that corner. Yeah, and I'm yeah. not sure if it were me that I would even leave that there. I might even just take that out. But I think you can go a lot tighter. I think you can get in like this. Yeah, there you go and leave some room in front of the rider and just make a more dynamic shot. Yeah, but I mean, the, the panning technique and the, yeah, I mean, the wheel spin. Can we warm got it, it up just a hair? Yeah, it looks like it needs to be warmed up just, just a tad. But anyway, and maybe a little, little texture. A little clarity. So, cool shot. Anyway, well done. So there's just, I, I just did texture clarity and warmed up the skin tone a little bit but 
Anyway, th this is this photographer is really good. I don't want to nitpick. And this is, come on. That's like. That's cool. That's entering contest shot. So, okay. But do you see the difference in this? And I that hope so. Sunset shot? I hope so. Yeah. That's really, and, well, I did not, I wasn't there. Yes, but that's the thing. This is what Eric's talking about all the time where Eric says, you want to shoot what's convenient. Oh, I was at the beach. It was right there. This person says, I'm going to go someplace amazing and get yeah. shot. That's the difference. It's hard. It that's the hard. difference. Good photography that's the hard is hard. It. Yep. It's not hard to press the button, especially if you're already standing at sunset on your vacation. All right, let's move on. Here we go. Oh, we need to take a break, though. We do need to take Heck, a break. let's take a break. We need to take a break. Let's take a break, pull ourselves back together. We come back, some stuff. Hi, I'm Maribel, and I'm so proud to bring to you my first Kelby One class. I'm gonna help you make your images really stand out. How? By using everyday materials in a creative way. We're also gonna discuss how I tap into my creative team, leaning into friends, family, and other creatives to help you bring your vision to life. That'll open up floodgates of other possibilities for you. I'm going to teach you how you can create a really couture Hollywood avant-garde dress that's not necessarily bought, but created at home, yet has the same visual impact as a really expensive Hollywood gown. It's all about teamwork. Guys, we're not going to just take a photo, we're making a photo. If you want to learn how to make creative portraits out of everyday material, come watch my class at KelbyOne.com. Hi, I'm Jeff Leinbach, and I have a new class on Kelby One. It's called Architectural Photography Basics. If you ever wanted to get into architectural photography, this might be a great place to start. My goal for this class is to teach you what to bring to a shoot, what kind of gear you need, what kind of lenses you need. Also to show you a capture sequence so you know exactly start to finish how I proceed with a project. In the edit section, we'll talk about working between Lightroom and Photoshop. We'll look at raw files and final images to show you exactly what it takes to get a final image. Also, how to deliver to a client, to give the client what they deserve and what they need. So these are some of the basic tools you'll need to start making money at architectural photography. So come join my new class on KelbyOne.com. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. Hey, -o, we're back. Scott here with Mr. Kuna. And uh, let's right, go. We got some more. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. How are we doing on time? I don't know. I don't have a clock. Okay. Um, All right. Nice. Here's the first one. Isn't that nice? Nice. Now, this looks like, I could be wrong, the roof of La Sagrada Familia in, in Barcelona. I don't know if it mm -hmm. is. Could be. But I don't know. I love this. I like that first one, yeah. I like this. I love this. I like this. This is kind of a nothing. Yeah, I'm um, the same way. I love that yeah, first one. It's kind of... The second one is really cool, but it's... it. You know what it is? It looks like it needs to be sideways like that. Yeah. Maybe I could go the other way like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that is better, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Those, yeah, the first two, especially the first one. Yeah, the first one's fantastic. Yeah. First one's like, that's a, that's that wins competitions. Mm -hmm. That's still really good. This one is very flat and nothing. It's just kind of yeah. I don't know what you're seeing in this one. But and, and that's what's so so weird about that, you know, like it's it's not a good gesture. The guy's out of focus. Yeah. It's not good. It's not good light. It's Lighting. not good color. It's not. It's, it's nothing. Not, it has nothing. nothing. So all right. You got two good ones there. Let's work. Let's work more on those. Yeah. Good though. And those the are... first one is because you've got this like 
Yeah, you've got the simplicity of it. It's very, yeah. We can, you know, All right, you three of their best shots. Here we go. One. And two. Hmm. Hmm. Well. This is the best of the three. Yeah. Agreed. The problem with all of these are, number one is they're really not, they're just not pretty. Composition. There's yeah. nothing, but to, there's, there's, there's nothing to the, comp like it really is. And, and, yeah. and the, there's these bad are like lighting. Wikipedia. These yeah. are Wikipedia type shots. Like yeah. if you said, what's like, that yeah, building that's look that like? That's that old that's that building. building. And it's like, that is that old building. Yep. That's it. And that's that hut near the old building. Yeah, that's it. But now but, that hut has total potential you put that in the right light and you put a pizza and, oven in there and it's uh, pizza hut come on but with the no. with the flowers in the front there no that, you're that right texture, this has some possibilities if, you, if yes. you were in the right light with the right clouds yes or yes. did a sky replacement with yes. those flowers yes that there is a bank there is a cool shot there's right potential there. there there's a and there's potential at night too if you look that up and had a sky too. Okay. Yeah. You Oof. mean a sky at night like Milky Way? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, here's the problem. You didn't do any of that stuff. No, none of that. All right. It so is you're a out shot of location in the with promise. I mean, and that, you could say, but I couldn't help it. I was there at two o'clock in the afternoon. This is the kind of shot you get. That, you know what that is? Horrible that, light. That is my scouting shot that I take that says, go back to this place on my phone so I have the yeah. GPS coordinate that I can get back to. This is just an ugly building in the worst possible light and a dead tree. Like, what? I, I would love to talk to this photographer and just say, what was it that made you think this was going to be a good shot? It, it, it doesn't, it's awful light. It's a dead tree. It's an abandoned old building. There's not a cloud in the sky. The, the grass is awful. What was it that made you go, this is one of my best shots. I, I really love this building. Now, you may be looking at this very different than we are. You yeah, may it could be like, a memory too. A That's a lot of times family. is it's a memory. We it's a memory. A it's, yeah, there's a historical there's a historical reference or a trip yeah. you guys were on. Right. Or, yes. And that does not make it a great photo. No. That just makes it a great memory. No. And this this one, this first one, in the right conditions. That's another mill, one. That one has potential. It has potential, but in the snow, there's not a lot of potential. It has potential. In in the snow, that, that would be a great of, of that would be right. a great one to hey go let's back, go back there go back when this when everything's fall yep. this fall. in fall that's a but, fall but shot. here's the unfortunate thing that's not when you took it no what do I have a forest of dead trees and don't take it to fall in the middle of the day <laughs> yeah it's like it's everything bad so what what do we need to work on what would I tell this photographer I want to, to work know where on? the hut is in the middle because I think there's number a two shot there. <laughs> Number no, well, number one, you got to shoot it in better light. Number yeah. two, don't shoot the second thing at all. Don't shoot that building at all. Period. No, like it's just it's not art. It's not pretty. No one wants to see it. It's an ugly building, regardless of its historical. Unless you're reference. just going to enter a historical record of the building. Yeah, you want to like say I was there. That's that's okay. Um, this this one is if you were there at fall, this could be a beautiful shot. Even the way you framed it and everything could be beautiful. It's not like the fence is actually doing a leading no, line thing. I, saw, it's I was going to say the other side of the fence would be beautiful in the fall. Like, yeah, because you're, the be. fence is leading you off to the right instead yes. of towards what you want us to look at, which is the grist mill. I love saying the word grist. Um, yeah. This one, yeah. you got your work cut out for you here. Again, could be come awesome. back. Could be good. Could be awesome. Eric likes it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Eric sees it as Give a scouting Give me a GPS picture. coordinate. I'll tell you. I'm All right. getting to photo pills, and I'll tell you. All right, how much time we got? Oh, not much. Here we go. Oh, I need power. Maybe on the break. Okay. Mm. That's kind of interesting, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Milky Way. Yeah. This last one's kind of a mess. However, yes, we know my, my battery will die soon. Um, it's two out of three. I mean, the, 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 the first two are interesting. This one would look so good if you took the time to really clean it up. And yeah. what by that is... Like simplify that foreground. Get rid of this. Get yeah, rid of all those. that stuff. Get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of this stuff. You might leave the... What are these called? 
Seagrass? Seagrass. Yeah, but there's another name. But anyway, yeah, you might leave the seagrass over there. But, but you have the makings of a great shot here. Like, because the sky is great. And you're, you're, the trees are great, and the light coming from behind, and they're dead yeah, trees. You know how hard it is to get yeah, a dead tree shot? That and, looks good. You've yeah. got a dead tree shot. That's interesting. Yeah. But it's you just got to go fix some of this stuff. and then Yeah, it become, needs to be cleaned up. You're right. Yeah, I'm it, telling but if you. But it was you gotta, cleaned you gotta, up. You're on to something here. Potential. Potential. Tremendous potential. potential. And you obviously know the, the camera settings. Eric, I'll leave this to you. I mean, I, it's, it, what's great about this is you were able to... Um, capture the moon reflecting there and and capture the Milky Way and balance those exposures that um, is is a harder thing to do than it looks well you can um, tell the moon was in the seventh house the yes, Jupiter had aligned yes. with Mars now I the one thing for me is like the tree is just kind of like there's no context for the tree it's just kind of there you know um, the I tree see, doesn't bother me because you take the tree out it's a boring shot it, it does but I look at the um, the roots that are sticking up with the yep, tree. Yeah, these roots. That I think if you got closer stuff or got like a little here. bit more Look at this. into it. Up here, yeah. right side, right side, right side. I could even see you walking down Chunk. the beach a little bit and getting a different composition. Uh, but I think overall, technically, uh, the exposure. Uh, right. I, I love how you have the Milky Way kind of diagonal through yeah. that frame. We like this. Yes. P potential. 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 That... I don't even know. Nah. I don't even know what to tell you. It's like, just a little too busy. It's just busy. It's just busy. Yeah. It's just, just everything's yeah. distracting. All right. Still, still kind of, you know. It's There's decent some... stuff though. All right. Yeah. It's not, it's not bad there. I mean, obviously some of their stuff's really good. Wow. We're running out of time. Here we go. Ah, uh, Rome. I call this series Rome in really bad light. So and here's that, the that thing. is Rome. I turned to black and white because I didn't shoot at the right time of day. Yeah, I, I turned it to black and white to try to save it. This is far and away the best one mm -hmm. because you're going for a graphical architectural kind of feel here. It's almost dipping into the fine art ish kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, that could be a good magazine cover. This is and stuff, bad. Yeah. This is bad. That's good. Yeah. But these two trash them. Unfortunately, you shot them at the wrong time of day. Hopefully, you weren't just in Rome one day because it's a wonderful city. But uh, I did a workshop there with Mimo. Hey, it's a Mimo. Yeah, Mimo. And uh, he, how many F stopa did he put on there? How many F stopa? Ten F stopa. But uh, that you know that fort's ugly as heck anyway. You know what is cool though? You can get an incredible view from that fort, like right right up here, back right. towards the city. There's a wonderful view sure, of Rome. Yeah. But this that's an ugly. It was a. It was a citadel. It was a fort, and then it was something else. And it's now, hey, there's a nice restaurant where those three columns are. There you go. All right, so we we got to do a little work there. All right, All right we moving get on to lightning rounds. That's hmm. nice. Hmm, I like that. And you know what? There's kind of a magical quality to their posts there. Yeah, that's very nice. It's a little overdone, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> it is, but I, yeah, I'm with you. Like, it, it's it, that's a Budapest. While it's overdone, it's it's overdone in a way that you yeah, it's not I like it's it. pleasing. This is overdone too, and I like it. Oh, can I tell you what I would do here? Can I tell you this is it's a little. I, I'd back that one off just a little bit. More yeah, but I, I'm going to help it here. It won't be so bad. Let me. What do I got to do to open this? Here we go. I would real quickly go to Photoshop. Duplicate the layer and go to multiply mode. Uh -huh. And then, like, use a gradient on the bottom half of it. So you, we don't want to do the floor, right? We just want to the roof. Whoops, I went exactly in the opposite direction of what I wanted. And then lower this opacity to where it looks good. Maybe somewhere in there. You want the, the, the tones more balanced. See how bright it is? Mm -hmm. I think you want the tones more balanced. Yep up in that roof nice. and and the whole thing is is it's a little much but i don't know i like it i i think these are good these are yeah i think that's really good that's really good this is interesting it very is nicely interesting. um it's a night shot with a black sky and it still looks good i think this is this photographer's like got it, it going on 
I like it. It's all a little bit too much. It, yeah, that's what it is. But it's it's a, just, just a little. It's, it's like twenty percent. It's, it's not fifty percent. It's not it's crazy cooked. over. It's a little bit, little bit. It's good stuff though. I'm very. But you know, I'll be honest. Is nowadays like people like the cooking. They like it when you cook it a little bit. They're cooked. All right, here we go. Make it a little well done. Ooh, that's nice. I love the perspective and the clouds and the stuff. Hey, Eric? Do you think that the exposure is just not, long exposure is not long enough? No, I don't think that's real. Okay. I was just going to say. I think yeah. they, add, is it the I top think of they the added car? some zoom effect afterwards. Yeah. I don't think that's a real long exposure. I don't yeah. care. The car looks good. All right. A uh, nice wheel spin and all that kind of stuff. We're going to fix one thing here in a second. And we're going to fix the same thing here. Yeah. So you you got the nice low low angles and all that stuff. But but so I, I learned this from Tim Tim Wallace. So Tim Wallace teaches classes on car photography on Kelby One. And when I wanted to start shooting cars, I went and looked at yeah, Tim's stuff. Yeah, you go to the source. <laughs> and, I, and I sent an image that looks very much like this or like this to Tim. And I said, Tim, what do you think? And he said... What is this, 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 all of that, this? Why is all that crap on the car? Oh, the reflections. Like, oh. Yeah. And he's like, you got to get rid of those. I'm going to just show you real quick how to get rid of them. So you can just, in many cases, just literally get the healing brush, make it bigger than the... All this, oh God, that was awful. Let me try the actual, that was the spot healing brush. Let me just go down here and get the actual healing brush. Get rid of those. These, well, God, don't use that. You have to use the clone stamp tool down there. I don't know if we know, we got classes on how to retouch cars too. You got to get rid of every one of those little things that, that is not awesome. And if you have to get, you like, you see how this thing kind of curls up at the back? So what Tim would say to do is this, this is the big trick I was leading to, which is get the pen tool and say, no, it, it shouldn't, let's just curve it around here. And you shouldn't have that big, ugly, just gap back there. So we're gonna get rid of everything that's inside this selected area, right? But what Tim would tell you to do is this, create a new layer, get that blue, just go get the eyedropper tool and steal that blue right there. And you're just going to paint over it with a paintbrush. And you're going to go, that's going to look like crap. You know, it really is. It looks fake. It looks like it's been retouched, right? <coughs> but then you're going to go filter, noise, add noise. And you're going to add just enough noise, monochromatic Gaussian noise, not nine pixels, just enough to where it matches the car. So maybe, I don't know, one or two. Let's move it up here. Oh, come on. Just go 1%. Okay, 2%. It's like 2% milk. And that's how you're going to clean it up. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And I did it in 10 seconds. It needs feathering and some stuff on the edges. But you got to clean up this car. All these white spots and all. It's a cool shot. So you got to clean it up. Same yeah. thing with the other one. The other one you got here. No, not That's not it. Uh, the other one you got here. This one. See all this stuff on the sides? All that's got to go. This has got to be, if you're going to have that white there, it's got to be solid white. Well, plus, I mean, the car is falling off the driveway. You got to fix that. You mean it's off the? Yeah. I mean, well, you can, you can see like the tire is off the, like it's on. That doesn't bother me. Oh, that's totally. It's driving Eric crazy. Driving me crazy. But you got some work to do on cleaning up. But you're, you're doing the fundamentals right. The light looks good. This, this is probably composite, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah because the front of the car looks elongated and the rest yeah. of the building doesn't yeah, okay anyway but i like i like where they're going i think they're doing good stuff yeah, all right let's take a look mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. three let me get make them a bit larger see if i can get them in camera raw all right there we go well there you go all right very nice high yeah. key Beautiful light, uh, nice pose. Really, I love the way this is all blown out back here. This is just very nice and very nice tone. Yeah, like nice. nice post, nice post. This is nice too. Mm -hmm. uh, nicely toned, good, good, good light. Everything looks pretty good there. 
This is my least of the three. It's just kind of flat. It's not bad, not at least bad, but it doesn't even look like on the, the level of these two. Like you, that high key look you got right there is really good. Your dark dramatic look is really good. This is just kind of that flat nothingness in between. It's okay. It's not, it's soft flattering light, but it's not great light. You don't really see any real shadows. It's might even be cropped a little too high up top and not cropped. Like I think you would have to crop this mm. to make it look balanced. You'd have to crop it almost up here like that to get a more, it's an, it was an uncomfortable crop point. Yes. So serious. I am. Yeah. It looks better like that. Yeah. But it's just, it's just kind of, I, I lighting wise, it's kind of dull. The other two, you got great lighting and it really makes a difference. All right. We're, we're about out of time. Let's, uh, we got a couple more. I want to show you these cause I want to show you another one. Here we go. So this, this guy and this one, love this one dramatic, just a little bit of light. You can see his eye. This one I really like. This one is boxing gloves are way too white. Way, way, way. Cause so what you need with him is this kind of minimal dramatic hard light. He's just kind of over lit. Yeah, this looks like you lit it with, a, with, with like a, it's like a flashlight, you know, it's like, this is like lighting and this is kind of, I don't yeah. know. Now you could ask him unless he's got sponsors, if those are his sponsored gloves, then he's got to wear those gloves. Otherwise, I would go with some blue gloves or some red gloves. So like he's got blue and red hand tape or wrist wraps. Um, those look yeah, good. Yeah, because it's going to be hard. You're going to have to like lessen the light. You're just going to have to Yeah, that one's really good. All right, now the reason I want to show you these, and, and this light's horrendous on him. This may be in the middle of a fight. It may be just available light. I don't know. It, that, that doesn't look yeah. like a pose. I mean, I'll tell you the other. It looks like two, he was in the corner. Yeah, like that's the one that just looks out like a of corner place. Man. It doesn't look out. It just looks out of totally place. out of place. You want a like, lot more of this. Happened. That's yeah. so good. Less of this, none of this. All right, yeah. now there's somebody else that sent in boxing shots. Give me a second to get them. Okay. Well, while I, you're doing that, we got some prizes. So uh, get the prizes. We got. Uh, Jonah Everett uh, is a longtime fan and went in the Platy Pod. And then we got Dan Dolick uh, from North Carolina is winning the Optics. And then Lisa V is uh, winning uh, Scott's iPhone photography book. Just email us over at gridprize at kelby1.com and we'll get you your prize. All right, there you go. All right, look at these boxing shots. Here we go. Look at the light on this guy. Mm -hmm. you, it's almost like a platinum look to him. Right, he's got like a platinum look, and the nice side lighting and the front lighting. It's it's edgy. It's really good. Yeah, it sculpts. Sculpts the body, yeah. right? Nice, edgy. He's throwing some elbows. Nice. And then, and then there's this. What the hell happened here? Yeah, it doesn't even look like the same photographer. Yeah, where's the edgy lighting? Where's all that stuff that was on here? Where's that? He's overlit. So again, yeah, you got the potential for these fighters. The dramatic edgy light looks really great. And the soft light like you do for a portrait, just it doesn't. It's not appropriate. Yeah, and subject. Scott knows this big time because yeah. I mean, he takes self portraits like this all the time. Who does you? You know all about this. Yeah, I'm well, I'm more ripped than these guys. Yeah, so. exactly. But I mean, they're they're OK. All right. So let me see if there's one. Uh, we got two last ones. Here we go. All right, this is kind of neat. Unfortunately, your subject isn't give you any, isn't giving you anything. Like she's, she's just like, I got a blank look. What's that? Yeah, that. I, love, I, I mean, I love the lighting, I and I love the um, the mood. It's not quite there just, because your subject is giving you nothing. Then, yeah, it's just kind of looking off into this one. I love because of the trouble you went through. You, you're trying to get a noir look. Right, you're trying to do the window shade light. You got the smoke coming in. You got the the. She's got a glass of scotch. Yep. She's that private detective. Okay. The old phone. They're always drinking. And then slow move into the Slowly. camera. I mean, that's the slow pan in. <laughs> that's the slow pan in. I don't I know mean, what perfect. happened there. 
And then the first one. And it's then like, this is like what? This is my wife on vacation. What? At the Alamoana Shopping Center in Hawaii. I mean, I'll be, when I saw the first one, I was like, uh oh. And yeah, then they these, got better. Yeah. The, I, I like where you're going. You know what I it mean, is? So that one, if it had that last one, is a really cool shot. It is. If it just was a better gesture. Yeah, we it need just, a better gesture. It has that like, like kind of like puzzled bewilderment look of just like. It's got yeah. light. It's got color and it's got duh. It just doesn't have the. Uh, this one, yeah. You're not quite there, but you're you're knocking on the door. Yeah. This but then the first one, it's like from our whoa. vacation, whoa. from our first trip to Hawaii. Whoa. We were at the shopping center, and there we took a picture. Hmm. Okay. All right. Or it's at our hotel. I don't know. There was one more, I think. Hang on. Yeah. And, and I want to show these because these are beautiful. Ooh. Yes. My favorite are the, are the first and third. First and third, yep. First and first third. third. <laughs> nice. Nice. I, this the, one is, is, is interesting. I, this one has a tremendous You know, I'll tell you this. It'd be a lot better if you didn't have the first or third. It'd be a lot yeah. better. If those two weren't that good, we'd be like, this is pretty good because you got nice, yes. nice arrangement of flowers. It's leading you in. Leading, it's, yeah. This is like all technically done well, but it, it's not nearly, it's just not dynamic like this is dynamic and that. Those yeah, are, that. Those are oh, cool. I'd love that one. They're, those are cool. That's cool. Oh. Simple. You know what else, too? These shots are simple. <coughs> oh, yeah, that too. Oh, yeah. Simple. Simple. Kind of busy love and it. noisy. Either way, I think they're 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 doing a really good job. That's awesome. I think we are out of images and out of time. Did I miss anybody? I think that's it. Nope, got them all for today. We did awesome. run over a bit as we tend to do, and we've got multiple images to do, but only by 12 minutes, which is really pretty good. All right. Uh, am I thinking? I'm forgetting anything. Don't forget the outdoor conference. The outdoor photography conference next week. Next week. Gonna be we there. won't. We won't have a grid because we'll tell, be over at the outdoor photography. Right. Conference. Also, tell your friends. If you have friends that you think that should go to this conference, tell them. Just go. Hey, Bob. You like outdoor stuff. You like learning. You like learning at home in your underwear. Let's go. Yeah, I'll tell you. I, you just pick up those little tips and tricks and and all those things along the way. It's like you were just talking about with Tim Wallace and the car stuff. It's like those little things that make the difference. Yeah, and it really does. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Thanks to our crew here, Christina. And there's no Juan today. Nope. Juan's off doing Juan stuff. But Mike's here. Thank you, Mike. Ron. Yep. Jason. Jason. As always. Getting down, getting low. Yeah, and in the, in the, Victor's over there. In the uh, that room where they move now. Control room. Control room. That that's the thing. Thank you guys for watching. We won't see you next week because of the uh, the conference, but we'll play a best of or something. I don't think we'll even do that. No, no, no. We won't do that. We're not even we're doing that. We're gonna be full on dead producing live week. conference. We're stuff. full on streaming. So yeah. Catch you guys week after next. Take care, everybody. I'm Jefferson Graham. I'm a Los Angeles writer, photographer, a former USA Today tech columnist, and I've got a great new class for you on Kelby One. I'll show you where all the best spots are to get your iconic LA shots so you won't be scrambling to find them when you get here. We'll cover epic travel and street photography, awesome sunsets, do some time lapses and panoramas, and I'll show you how to get amazing photos of the city that, of course, gave birth to the motion picture industry. Then we'll look up at the amazing palm trees of Beverly Hills 90210, catch the top spots for the LA skyline, movie locations, a killer freeway shot, and of course, we'll be ending at the beach for what I hope will be a memorable sunset. Ready to get started? We're in LA, the birthplace of the movie, so you know what they say. Action! Would you believe us if we told you that you could fit studio lighting in your pocket? 
Well, Lytra has made it possible. Lytra is a global award-winning brand that designs and manufactures professional-grade camera lights that are compact, rugged, and waterproof. Whether you're using Lytra gear in a photo studio or underwater, Lytra's mission is to provide content creators with flexible and unlimited lighting tools that can mount on any camera, anywhere. Their lights come with a high CRI or color rendering index, making them some of the most color accurate lights in the industry. Due to the lights compact and rugged design, photographers are able to use the lights in ways that their studio lighting never could. Lytra has also made multiple lighting accessories available to fit your every need as a creator. Whether you're shooting portraits, nailing a product shot, or even flying your drone, they have got you covered. Lytra enables photographers and filmmakers to focus on their craft and create something beautiful. What will you create? This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. Make sure you don't miss any episodes of The Grid by subscribing to Apple's podcast app or iTunes. It's free and we even have a special audio only version too. So sign up today.